under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Houston Astros and the Tampa Bay Rays. Here's Michael Brantley and we are set for baseball here this evening. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two. Back up the middle Adama scoops it up and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bregman is retired two down now. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So coming to the plate Joey Wendell he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. Again a one two. That's popped up Bregman in foul ground and no one will track it down. To two balls and two strikes now. Boy not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher right you don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game but that's a quality at bat and what does it make you do as a pitcher you have to use a lot of your pitches and the more pitches a hitter sees the better chance they have to make good contact and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. At the plate now, Jose Martinez. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Coming to the plate now, Austin Meadows. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1-1. One, one. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. The one two gets him swinging he struck him out next will be the cleanup hitter Brandon Lowe and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season he's set here comes the one one now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two let's get it going boys somebody's loose hitting 98 with ease in the first inning swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. G Man Choi, the next to hit. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Now, a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, it's looking like he might be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Yank fouled off to the right. Wendell on second Martinez on at first with two down and another foul ball two and two here it is and they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. 
Springer will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Next up for the Strohs, Jordan Alvarez, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Another payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Correa. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch. Hops this one up. Meadows coming in on it. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. To second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Batting fifth. George Springer, the next to hit. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Three and one, here it is. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermeyer on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. So a runner at first with two away. And that brings up the former gold glover Josh Reddick. Reddick. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Now a throw over and he has to dive but he's back in easily. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The first baseman, number 10. Yuli Into the box, Yuli Guriel. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Struck him out. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here now is Mike Zanino. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this one misses as well, and that pushes it to three and one. Kevin Kiermeyer would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Grounded to short, reined in. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Now that. So it's first and second with two men gone. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. The 2-2. Two -two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Reddick. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. And the second run will score as well. Now back, 
Standing in now, Jose Martinez. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. There is Altuve. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Martin Maldonado, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two and one to count. Now here's the pitch. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Martin Maldonado is retired to start the third. And this is taken for a ball high and tight, 2-2. Two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first will get him score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that the second base. Jose. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. Bregman rounds the corner and is headed home. He will score as it's now a one-run ball game. The back of the 44. Designated hitter. Jordan Alvarez. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. All even now, two and two. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 2 2 pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Digging in now. Austin Meadows looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two, two strikes. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Into the box, Brandon Lowe. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Outside and a full count, three and two. G-Man Choi is on deck. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. 
the first baseman. So one gone in the G inning here with the runner at first. And that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Taken high and deep to right. Reddick looks up. That swing has to feel good right there. If you look at the numbers, this guy does not give up many long balls. To take him deep in this spot certainly is huge. In now, Willie Adamas. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting. The third baseman. Into the box Yandy. now. Yandy Diaz. Yeah. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one-two. Two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay up. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Leading off the inning, Carlos Correa. And they'll need him to get something going here. Takes this the other way to right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Digging in, George Springer. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Two and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. And it's fouled away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a cut fastball, and this is over, but low. It's ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that brings up the former Gold Glover, Josh Reddick. Here's the payoff pitch. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer reached on an error and then eventually scored in his first at bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now back, the deputy back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Count is one and two now. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Wendell hits a little over the 270 mark. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. No Ready once again, okay. Jose Martinez will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing it. 
Hit on the ground to third. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Brendan McKay, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Number 49. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yuli Guriel. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The one two. Rip down the first base line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now here's the pitch. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Striding in for Houston, Martin Maldonado looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North is seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Fouled off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. The left the 23, Michael Brantley. At the plate, Michael Brantley. This is pulled into right. And that's a fair ball as this will rattle up into the corner. Runner from second crosses the plate. Standing in now, Alex Bregman. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Meadows is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Runner in scoring position with two down. Altuve. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. No contact there, and it's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Hit in the air to right field. Meadows moving back. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Austin Meadows. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In his career, Meadows has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Throw on to first, in time, one away. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Brandon Lowe. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The 2-1. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Stepping into the box, G-Man Choi. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Yeah. 
Here's George Springer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he fouls this one off. Swinging a soft liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Into the box, Josh Reddick. That's popped up. Adamas into shallow. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. No hits to this point. Two runs, six hits. One error so far for the Astros. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. In there for a called strike. Three and two now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Springer isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And the deficit is down to only one now. Now that Pepper. Martin. Stepping in now. Martin Maldonado. Hit on the ground to third. Throw gets him. Two down. So stepping in, Michael Brantley, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The relay to second now, but he's safe as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Colin Poche, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Into the box now, Alex Bregman hit hard on the ground to the right. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. Now batting, second baseman, Jose Altuve. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Striding into the box, Yandy Diaz. He'll lead things off for Tampa here in the sixth. The 2-2. Two -two. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Up next for the Rays, Mike Zanino. He flew out in his last at bat. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay sixth, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Late now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. It was a walk in his last trip. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Stepping into the box, Carlos Correa. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. 
with this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Drives it out to deep right center field. Kiermaier giving chase, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Now that the center fielder, George And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. The 1-1 home. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he lays off again, ball three. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or you just pitch around him? Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. Diego Castillo is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. The second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Coming to the plate now, Martin Maldonado. And their runners at the corners now. Maldonado. One and one. Here it is. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. One and two. Here it is. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. in the air out to straightaway left. Martinez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Framber Valdez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game only down by one all they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up ball taken there two and one now popped him up Guriel is there for it one down ready for another oh, chance for Jose today. Martinez Go 0 for two good. for him to this point Four runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. That one is out of here. This game is tied. At the plate, Austin Meadows. This ball will be chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four. Now, now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. 
into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2-2. Ripped on the ground to first. One there. Over to Guriel for an inning-ending double play. Chaz Rowe has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. New inning set to get underway. So digging in now, Michael Brantley. He's two for four in the ballgame. The 3 1. Full count. 3 and 2. And he lays oh, off. Oh, ball four. That. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Now batting, Alex Bregman, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. On the first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Payoff pitch on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Chris Davinsky is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47. So striding forward now, G-Man Choi head to head against Chris Davinsky. He's a perfect two for two. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Late now, Willie Adamas. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage really. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Payoff pitch one more time. It's on a line to left center, and it's going to fall. The base hit. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now back, better fielder. To the plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Second and third here, one man out. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but now with back. two away the now. Slice down the left side, but foul. Looking to keep this one-run game, the pitch. Bullet back up the middle. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning.
Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 70. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3 and 1 now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Into the box, Carlos Correa. Hit hard up the middle, and that's through for a hit. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. Stepping in now, George Springer. In there at the letters, one and two now. too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside you know something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead ready with another two strike offering oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning digging in to try it again Josh Reddick there's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Now the one and two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Meadows moving back. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. At the plate, Yuli Gurriel. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. set and the 1-1 one, one. inside corner called a strike one and two there's ball two as the slider dips below the zone looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive not being very aggressive right now just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Ready with another two strike offering. Fastball laid off well below the knees. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Ready with another two strike offering and he strikes him out on a good pitch so one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Brad Peacock enters to do the pitching and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay Jose Martinez he's working on a one for three thus far. Boy, this guy right here on that last A.B., how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark, but a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Three and one to him now. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Right fielder. Stepping in, Austin Meadows. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here's the two-and-one pitch. To two-and-two now. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two-and-two. Two. Now here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit.
the batter. Number eight. Standing in now, Brandon Lowe. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. G-Man Choi waits on deck. The 3-1 pitch. This is line to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Striding in once again, G-Man Choi. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Peter Fairbanks takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. All set for the start of the inning. Striding in, Martin Maldonado. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The three one. He is swung on and missed a full count now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now at the plate, Miles Strong, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. One out, nobody on. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. The 2-2 two -two is laid off up for ball number three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he lays off the ball four. Now two. the potential go-ahead run is on base here. The one and one pitch. a fastball well off the plate inside. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Alex Bregman goes down for out number two in the top half. Popped him up. Choi. Over to his left, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. He singled his last time up. The 1-1. One, one. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Third baseman, and that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Yandy. Struggling so far Diaz. in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And it's 1 and 2. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game now to forget thus far. Hitler. Four strikeouts. Two out, nobody on. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. One and two. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Eleventh inning set to get underway. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jordan Alvarez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Right side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He gathers the throw. It's there, and he's out. Standing in, George Springer. He's working on a one for three thus far. He set the payoff pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Kyle Tucker will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. The 1-1. One, one. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. On to first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He went down on strikes last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty. But in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line. Too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. The designated hitter. Joey Wendell digs in now. He lined out in his last trip. So looking for better fortunes here. Three and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. Play Jose Martinez. He rounded the bases on a home run back in the seventh. Here's the payoff pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Tucker waits on it, and that's the third out. Oliver Drake gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 47. On to the 12th frame in this one. Settling in now, Martin Maldonado. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Full count, three and two. Popped him up. Choi moving to his left. One away. Now at the plate, Miles Straw. He drew a base on balls his first time up. set and the 2 1 pitch hit back up the middle a diving try but he can't haul it in it's through for a base hit now that, no base hit. Alex 
Into the box now. Alex Bregman hit pretty well out toward right center field. On the move is Kiermaier. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now the three and two pitch. Now here's a line drive, and this is going to get down for extra bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. The runner from first crosses the plate. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. Jose Alvarado is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. At the plate, Carlos Correa hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Full count now, three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Roberto Ozuna is on now hoping to finally wrap things up in the bottom of the 12th. Number 54. Bottom of the 12th inning now. Ready now. Austin Meadows. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1-1. One, one. Line to the right side. But this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 1 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Into the box now, G Man Choi. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. 8-6 to six the final score tonight. The Strohs slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Brad Peacock claims the win out of the pen his first. Roberto Ozuna closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 15 hits. One error, they left 16 men on base. For the Rays, six runs, 10 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.